we are in the primary pod in uh, processing and we're starting with whole blood, which is now leukodepleted. So it's been filtered and white cells have been removed from those uh, from this donation. So that whole blood is now prepared for batching. Then there is uh, centrifugation taking place. So those are two centrifuges which spin the blood. Uh, and when the spinning is complete, the blood is taken out from the centrifuge. Once the units are spun, they can then be uh, taken on the presses and they are pressed onto the, um, to separate the red cells from the plasma. So the next step is the operation on the leukocart, where red cells are already separated from the plasma. And um, once this is completed, plasma is sealed off. Plasma bags go in the freezer. To make cryoprecipitate, the plasma is frozen and repeatedly thawed. We have already uh, thawed out cryo, so precipitation took place. And now we need to let this precipitation settle down to the bottom of the packs. So to do that, we need to spin the packs. So those packs here have been uh, made ready for centrifugation. And now we're going to put them on the centrifuge and let them spin for about 5 to 10 minutes to allow uh, clocking factors and have them to settle down. The operator is putting the uh, plasma unit onto the press and that press will separate the uh, cryoprecipitate. That becomes cryosingle with the clotting factors and only about 50 ml of that is going to be used as a uh, clinical product. However, the waste containing immunoglobulins and albumins is going to be used as cryodepleted recovered plasma for medicine. Cryoprecipitate pooling is a process of uh, connecting five units of cryoprecipitate together of the same blood group by scanning those units into this batch. We're using sterile docking devices. We're connecting the plastic of all the five constituents to a transfer bag. We're ready to uh, do a post-pooling check. So again, checking that the right packs have been connected uh, and eventually hanging the packs of the individual cryo units and letting them drain into the pooling bag.